Hello all. If you're having an issue when it comes to opening links in Discord, there's a few fixes that you can do to solve the problem. Uh, you know, this includes things like website URLs and attachments, and they won't open when you click on them. And, and of course, one quick workaround is just to copy the link. And so if you right click and you copy the link, you know, you could go and paste it into a web browser, which uh, a lot of people are doing. This is kind of an annoying method. and. Uh, so I'm not, this isn't one of the fixes, this is just a, a quick workaround really. But uh, there is some, some real fixes that we can look into that could help solve this issue. And one of them is just to run Discord as administrator. And uh, this helps uh, set permissions higher up so that more files can be accessed and things like that. And this is, one of, this is the most common fix right here. And it's really easy to do. Just right click on the icon, on the desktop icon, and just say run as administrator. And a pop-up will come up and just click yes and try that, that that's a very common fix and uh, often works if you don't have a desktop icon you can also just click over here in the run bar you could just type in discord and when you see a pop-up right there just right click and say run it as administrator right there so that's the most common fix and often solves the problem but if it doesn't work then you're gonna have to uh, go into a little more so the next fix uh, fix number two would be to change the Windows default browser. Uh, one of these uh, browsers, there's many browsers out there, and uh, one of these browsers may be having an issue and needs, a, you know, just not working with Discord for whatever reason. So you could change the default browser and see if that works. So to do that, just down here inside this run bar or search bar, just go in down here and just say default apps, which popped up right there, and go ahead and click on that. And so if you scroll down to where it says web browser, you could change the default web browser in Windows so that this is what will open. Uh, for, you could choose another one that you installed. So if you got Chrome installed or Firefox, you go and switch between them. Uh, you might need to restart Windows after you choose another one. Uh, maybe, maybe not. But basically choose another browser so that when it goes uh, to do a call function on that browser to open it, uh, you know, it, it often can solve the issue too since it might be the browser that's having the problem or the communication between the browser and Discord. So that's the second fix you can try. And the next fix is just to run Discord from from your browser. So, you know, you got, you got a, just open up a browser. And we're just gonna go straight to Discord. And right here, where it says open a browser, you can just run Discord within browser. Now this might not be a solution for many people, but uh, it, it may be for some. So that's that's the third solution. And the final solution is uh, to clear your Discord cache. You just want to hit uh, the Windows key and the R and the R key at the same time. It's going to open up a box that will run commands. And you're going to want to type this in right here, this command right here, which I'll put uh, down in the description also, so you can copy and paste it if you need to. And once you got that pasted in or type that in, just click OK. And it's going to open up this box right here, uh, this cache. This is the Discord cache. So you, you can just delete all these files that are inside the cache, which will often clear out old bad data. So I'm going to hit Control A to select all. You can also just do it with your mouse, but I'm doing a Windows shortcut key here. And then if you could press shift delete and then if you press shift and the delete key it'll delete them all you can't just select it with your mouse and right click delete to however you want to do it often there's just too many files in there to do that so however you want to do it but basically you delete the cache and then I'll help get rid of any old bad bad data I might be reading and then uh, restart discord so that's basically it that's four fixes that hopefully solve your problem and get uh, links working back in Discord again. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.